The Calciano Symposium has been around for 16 years now, and we've been started out addressing predominantly issues that um, affected young people in the area of why suicide, why there was suicide. I lost a son in 1995 to suicide, and um, as a result of that and helping the family get through all of the trauma, we decided to start this um, event. And it first started out targeting general areas of drug addiction, depression, and more general topics. And then we moved over the years into more specific areas such as cutting um, and specific methadone, drug addictions. And then we moved forward into more specific arenas as more and more. So we are trying to keep up with what is going on currently in Santa Cruz County and what issues need to be addressed. Right. I think that um, the youth of our community um, are affected by a broad range of topics. And as such, um, the committee who designs the symposium each year um, picks a topic. And if um, a uh, LGBT issue it comes to us, it will be part of the topic for the year. Um, because indeed, it's, it's part of the human experience um, that uh, people are people and they have certain problems and so <clears throat> to, to kind of you know answer the question most directly uh, it's favorably accepted by all of our community partners in fact we're here right now talking to you because of um, uh, our focus on bullying this year with a large segment of the component on on uh, LGBT uh, QI and how they can often become the victims of bullying I think that you know it's come up several times. Most specifically, um, when uh, two years ago, when we did a, a, a full day uh, professional conference on suicide, um, the uh, Family uh, Acceptance uh, Project uh, out of San Francisco, um, their founder came and spoke to us for about an hour and a half, and it was uh, it was quite enlightening because uh, depression and suicide, relative to not being accepted by your family if you're LGBT. Um, Etc. cetera, uh, is a significant factor in, in, in helping to get um, families to uh, accept uh, that people, again, are people, and we are born the way we are born, um, will help decrease uh, evidence and, uh, or incidence of, uh, of suicide and depression and other types of behavior, drug abuse and addiction. Uh, this current year, um, as you know, we did bullying, and there was a very, very large uh, research-based uh, a component of the symposium showing how indeed um, uh, those people of uh, 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 LGBT backgrounds um, are the victims of bullying uh, more often than the general uh, um, non-LGBT population. So yeah, that would kind of yeah, that. and also just sort of dovetailing into that is that in the last couple of years. We've also had student panels, or this year we had a student panel, and that was very powerful. Mm -hmm. And many um, students actually attend, they can come on scholarships, and many of those students are part of the LGBT community, and this was very profound for them, and they could open up in a very safe environment. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, also, we had a question answer period after our main speaker and she and it was very profound there were students that came up and asked questions that you know just left the whole place that mm -hmm. day quite poignant yeah. yeah I'll just I'll just drop in one more thing Ron Indra who's been involved with us several different symposiums he uh, we were going to do a symposium we did a symposium actually um, four years ago on bullying and gang violence, and Ron Indra was going to be, or was one of the speakers, but the tsunami came, and the symposium got canceled, but we still carried out the symposium, and it's still available to watch on community television, although there was no audience there. But our connection with Ron Indra and Alicia Nahara has had a, a large influence on making sure or helping us to integrate issues of LGBT uh, uh, QI. Did I get that right? Into into our... Into our uh, presentations? Well, the symposium could create a much safer environment for LGBT students 
by what we are planning to do is expanding on our student panels and we're sort of on a campaign right now to have a um, scholarship fund that will increase. Right now we only have the capacity for 25 students and next year we're hoping to grow in that arena because we have a waiting list for them to attend. So. Increasing our capacity um, is going to really help but I'll also put out that uh, it, this year's symposium on bullying uh, with a very um, focused uh, uh, topics around LGBT issues um, was filmed again by community television and uh, an excellent job of uh, editing and putting it into the four segments and parts and is available on YouTube. So right now I can tell you that um, besides the people who are at the symposium, 250 or 350 different people have already stopped into YouTube and seen um, the components of the what they chose to pick out of uh, the symposium, and so reaching out to the community through multimedia um, seems to be a good way to get it out past the uh, audience of three to four hundred people that we currently serve. My favorite movie has always been Sophie's Choice, um, when Meryl Streep played Sophie, and mainly because she was faced with just daunting decisions. And I feel that for many of our youth, that they are constantly faced with decisions on how to be in their family, how to be outside in the community, in the classroom. And um, I can see where that's just as serious for them as it was for her. Forrest Gump, off the top of my head, simply because it covers a period of time um, that's important to me in my life and takes us um, from the... Um, Elvis Presley through um, uh, a person dying of AIDS and uh, all the significant events in our society along that way with some humor um, and then some emotion um, and uh, really, really well done by uh, Tom Hanks. My favorite color would be white. It's like white is a combination of all the colors and it's very reflective. So I feel that that is part of me and my wanting to put out positive energy into the community, um, turning a negative loss in my family and for my other children into a very positive energy for Santa Cruz County. You know, it takes every color to make a rainbow. Um, it takes every working part to make a working brain. But my favorite color is cobalt blue. And why? I don't know. It's just always been my favorite color.